Hello and welcome to another Bits Box unboxing video. Today, I've been quite lucky to get this early, we're going to have a look at the CPV Heavy Destroyer upgrade pack for the Covenant. So, these are a model that is a bit of an acquired taste for many. Based off the model from Halo Wars, if you've played the game, uh, the game campaign at least, you might remember it ramming into the Spirit of Fire. Or the Spirit of Fire ramming into it. I'm sure the story's different. And yeah, it's a it's an interesting departure from the usual Covenant aesthetic, the sleek look they typically go for. This one's quite ugly and brutal if I'm honest. It looks like a bit of a bruiser. But we'll see. We'll see what it's like. So usual paperwork packet there. Formation bases. Yet more Corvettes. And the bag of resin. So, first off, I can say these models definitely look like they're going to be smaller than the uh, RCS Cruiser. And they come in, ooh, a plethora of parts. Okay, uh, wow, these ones I might actually need the instructions for. <laughs> so I'll do with them in a minute. So, yep. Four bases, the pack supplies three CPVs, so you've got a spare now. And little Corvettes. We'll crack open the packet and then I'll try my best to assemble the CPV. It'll probably be quite simple actually, I'll just look at the picture. If there are any parts left over, the spares right. Tokens and tokens, as usual. The build instructions here. It should not look too bad. Oop. Looks like you build the tail section. And then you stick, or you build the tail section in two separate parts and you stick each one on. And then you have your destroyer. So, uh, I haven't brought my super glue for this. Formation bases. Let's have a look at the rules. So, we've got right here. The CPV Heavy Destroyer gets two hangers, free boarding craft, four security detail. It's an 8-inch move with a glide of 4 inches, quite predictable. At 110 points, it is cheaper than the RCS, so though it is, on, it is build rating free, so not cheap in terms of how many you can cram into a battle group, it is cheap in terms of raw points. You're actually, we're actually approaching UNSC points cost here, you could probably start matching them activation or activation. that's the cost of a supported marathon that is. Defense arrays of 3 and point defense of 4, so it's quite solid. Comparing the rules to a uh, CCS Battlecruiser for example, I'll just crack this baby open, let's see, so the CCS does get a little more on the second damage track, but a little less on the third damage track. Movement is otherwise the same as is build rating. The CPV destroyer does get more boarding craft. And now we go into the weapons. So, oh that's interesting. Now the CCS Cruiser gets the Plasma Lance, so 12 dice at long range. It's quite a nice sniper weapon as we all know, though the ORS and the CAS do do it better and the RCS can do more of it. But this gets the Plasma Beam, which typically we only saw on the ORS, and it does seem to get the same version, so it can swipe and hit three targets within six inches of each other, within 12 inches of uh, the CPV, for nine dice each. You also get 10 Plasma Torpedo Dice, which, compared to your nine Plasma Cannon Ray Dice, is quite favorable. And you get the Penitent Special Rule. Security details in this element are considered to have the Assault Specialist 1 loadout. That's quite nasty, actually. The, that basically gives you Zealots for free. Now, this is very, very good for the points cost. Very, very good, I have to say. Now, it does... It's got the Plasma Torpedoes, so it can pop shots downrange. Um, as it closes, but this is, I'm quite pleased to say, because this is what I, hoping, this is what I was hoping it was going to be, it's a close-up brawler. It's tough enough that it can survive to get in there. <laughs> its weapon is 
well, the, the shortest, cla shortest range class of weapon there is in this game. And yeah, this, this seems like it's going to go and bully some frigates uh, or wounded marathon cruisers, that sort of thing. Uh, the assault specialist rule is just icing on the cake. You burn some filthy humans or heretics and then you board them with assault specialist grunts. Oh, I would like to see that. Note to Spartan, please release assault specialist grunts. But yeah, the, the plasma torpedoes, that allows you to keep a rain coming down as you close. And your build rating free, you can put some, you can put some uh, line formations in it, the ones that get more plasma torpedoes. Line formation corvettes with that and get for 230 points, a nice unit that's going to roll up. The corvettes can put down plasma cannon dice and the whole lot can put down a scary amount of plasma torpedoes. That would be 22 dice for plasma torpedoes. And then you've got the plasma beam for when you get really, really close. A little bit of hangar support, only really a token amount to be honest, but you can supplement that of corvettes. The supported variant, you gain plus one defense raise, uh, plus one armor on the second damage track, which brings it into, you know, now beating the uh, uh, CCS cruiser in that regard. A build rating four, no less. And your hangars and boarding craft predictably go up, though your security detail doesn't. Ah, wait, no. Oh, the security details on board this element are considered to have assault specialist one. Hmm. Okay, so that isn't quite how I thought it was. Sorry, misread that. The boarding craft are just boarding craft. <laughs> though, again, interestingly, the uh, you gain a hangar for a cover, but you're also going to boarding craft. But boarding craft can't take a... Uh, Corvettes can't take boarding craft. Interesting, there's been a couple of, uh, I've just filmed the Valiant and there's been a couple of interesting eccentricities in this release that I'm sure um, Spartan will be clarifying, if not errata-ing. But yeah, anyway. You put a Corvette in the base, you gain a couple of extra plasma torpedoes and five plasma can dice and a little bit more durability, plus hangers and boarding craft. Pretty standard as we've seen lately. The penitence, that just means you get an extra dice to kick them off your ship, which, not extra dice, uh, a plus one on the chart for kicking them off your ship. So that's nice, that's, that's a pretty solid little rule there, and that's a nice characterful rule. Um, I wish the Valiant got something like that, but that's for another review, and we may do a talk about that afterwards actually. Overall, uh, I quite like the model. I'm going to attempt to build it on screen in a minute without using any uh, <laughs> any um, glue. Just try to hold it together so we can see what it looks like. So let's do that. Well, actually, quickly before we do, you get your formation bases. There's free unsupported and free supported. So fairly standard. Now let's see, we have the fuselage here. I should really have the instructions out for this. Uh, I feel like I'm missing parts. How does this go together? Oh, that... Hold on a second, this is just the, uh... Oh! I am a moron. <laughs> I am a colossal moron. I was thinking, these look tiny. Uh, these are the body. These are just the thin bits for the, uh... For the tail section. So we've got the body here. Ah, that goes like that. This is going to be one I'm going to have to sit down and work out, isn't it? There we go. There we go. So there's flash on it, so I can't really do it properly, but there you go. There's your engine in there and your fin attaches here, there goes the engine, 
Oh, or like that. That looks better. Though it is right, actually, it is right according to the build instructions. And let's see, how does this go? Like that. So yeah, there's, there's our sub-assembly. I'll try and get my hands out of the way, but they are. <laughs> uh, they are structurally necessary to holding that assembly together without glue. So yeah, they, the model looks nice. I will say the model looks very nice. Though I am a fan of the aesthetic. So those of you who aren't fans of the aesthetic, it's not going to suddenly endear itself to you here. But let's try and get... There we go. So nice and spiky and brutal. If you assemble it using glue, I imagine it'd be much nicer. As for the quality of the finish, this one is very smooth actually, very smooth. I mean I can't really see any significant texturing here that I wouldn't see in any other resin manufacturer. And I never really noticed how there's just a giant globe that's been around, that's interesting. It's quite nice seeing this model up close. As far as size comparison, here is an RCS Cruiser. So the RCS Cruiser, once it's got the tail fins on, they'll be about the same length. And yeah, the elongated body means that it is quite a little bit thinner. Here's a Corvette which looks suitably teeny tiny next to it. Well, you know, I think these are actually quite nice together. Ooh. I will say it is, um, it is a very nice model. If you're a fan of the model, I definitely recommend it. Um, rules wise, it seems interesting. It's a little bit of a shame we didn't see a reinforced variant or <laughs> for the fun of it, maybe a paired one. It does, I, I would say, you know, that would make nice use of this blank space on each side. But, oh well, it is what it is. And I flipped over to the wrong side. And maybe they just couldn't fit it on because of how much this encroached. Oh, I don't know. I think a paired one of these would be hilarious though. Just charging in, wrecking everything with close range plasma beams. Maybe that's why. Yeah. Although I know for the case of the Valiant, the Valiant, you wouldn't have two of them working together because, you know, they're command ships. But still. Also, that might be a bit OP. But still, it's a nice model. Um, we'll be aiming to get bat reps of this in. It nicely, you don't need an extra re you don't need an extra resin part for the hole, it's already there. Actually, this could be a basis for some really nice conversions. I'd like to see some ultimate takes in this actually. Nice model, interesting rules. A uh, very different playstyle, actually even more up close and personal than Covenant normally are. So, I quite like it. And, well, hopefully we'll be seeing more. We've just had teased that the DSC uh, support vessel and the ADP escorts are coming out for the Covenant. And then the humans are getting some, uh, some Mac stations and halberds, but who cares? They all burn the same, right? <laughs> anyway. If you want to have a look at what the Silly Humans got, they've got a Valiant Super Heavy Cruiser here. If you click on that, that'll take you to the unboxing video. Otherwise, we shall see you next time, hopefully in a bat rep.